Hey, what's up guys? It's Forest Man here again. On the last video that I made, it was the uh, first video after the 3.0 update on the game, and I uh, complained considerably about zombie pods and how they're impossible to defeat using my method and the zero skill point strategy. Um, I've actually, after messing with it for a while, have figured out a very easy and effective way to take them out. And it's also a method that I've actually used for a long time. I don't know why uh, I didn't think of it in the first place. It's really just going to add one extra step to uh, all of my uh, PvP attacks, which is not that big of a deal. Um, but the gist of it is to go ahead and trip every hanger that, uh, that is in the base as soon as I begin my attack. I used to avoid that um, and just hope that they're all going to be empty or whatever the case may be as I go along, but um, with the new zombie pods, if you do trip a hangar and you've already got all of your human troops out, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to be a loss for you or you're going to lose as soon as those zombies make it to your unit, you to your, here are your human units. So um, what I've started doing is just tripping all of the hangers first before I actually begin attacking and I'll trip them with one assault or one juggernaut or something like that. Uh, if zombie pods drop out of them, then I'll drop my three heroes in a far corner along with an RD1 and my four goliaths that I've already been using anyways. Uh, the goliaths and the RD1 and I also use my three dragon fires are all immune to the zombies and they can take them out pretty easily. And the trick to actually being successful is to not drop any other units till those zombies are completely, completely dead and the little green cloud of zombie dust is gone and settled. Because if you drop them too early after that, then they'll, they'll get infected and all of your juggernauts or whatever else will all become zombies also. So, all that aside, you can see on the bottom is my US Spec Ops. This is a no skill point attack, and both of his hangers had zombie pods in them. Uh, I did have to use reinforcements for this attack. Generally in my PvP I don't do that, but I just so happen to have a couple of uh, Goliaths and Dragonfires as reinforcements, so reinforcements, so I went ahead and used them. I didn't trip both hangers at the start of this battle like I have been doing after this, but this was really the first time that I kind of realized it's, it's the best way to take out the zombie pods. So, We'll go ahead and hit the replay and let you guys see how that works out. I was going to attempt to do a live attack with the zombie pods, but after searching and searching and searching, I, I couldn't <laughs> come across one, So, uh, which is actually surprising given my last video and, and how effective they are against PvP units. I'm honestly surprised more people, more people are not using them at this time, but <clears throat> this attack will start here in a minute. All right, so he's got a zombie pod and a warbird in each one of his hangers here. Now my three heroes get dropped up on the top with my RD1. I also dropped my Goliaths and three dragon fires. And those took out those zombies all good and well. Nobody got infected and that worked out nice. Now as these second set of juggernauts started kind of making their way towards that second hangar, I started thinking, you know, if there's another zombie pod in there, I'm, I'm pretty much toast. So I'm gonna trip this hangar with a warbird. So you're gonna see my warbird and then his defensive warbird. And when that zombie pod drops, again, you can see my reinforcements, my goliaths and the dragon fires were able to kill those zombies without infecting any of my human units. So that actually ended up working out pretty well for me. I was pleased with that. Uh, the rest of this attack is just bas basically me using my heroes to get some skill point or to get some resources out of this base. Um, and the actual attack and the replay is messed up. I actually did not lose any of my heroes, but Gideon gets killed in this replay for some reason. I don't know. Um, anywho. I got quite a bit of gold out of this, so thanks uh, US Spec Ops for that attack there. Oh, this time when I played the replay, he doesn't get killed. Interesting. Played the replay play earlier and he ended up, oh, there he goes. 
Yeah, see? All right. Well, that's how to defeat the zombie pods using PvP and no skill points. Um, what I'm going to do next, and this is kind of a theory. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I've been playing with the idea of it for a while. Um, zombie pods are great for defense. Uh, as far as offense goes, they really don't serve much of a purpose at all. I, I can't... I can't really imagine ever wanting to use them in an offensive attack. I do, however, have a theory, and I they haven't really released the health points or the damage per second of the zombies, level one, two, or three, whatever the case may be when you get them leveled up. But I would suspect that the zombies have considerably higher damage and HP than the assaults do. So what I'm thinking is, if I train two zombie pods and 175 assaults, if I drop the zombie pods first and then the, the assaults all around them, when the zombies die, I'll end up with 175 zombies. And I think, <laughs> and, and again, I haven't tried this yet, so you're gonna get to watch it happen for the first time. Uh, you'll see it first here, uh, an attack with 175 zombies on a base. So. I'm hoping it actually works out pretty well. Uh, if it if it does, awesome. If it doesn't, you know, whatever. It was it was worth a shot. You know, sometimes you just gotta have fun with it. So let's see if we can find a player. I've already got the two zombie pods trained up, and I've got 175 assaults trained up. I'm gonna see if I can find a, a CC7 or a command center level eight base, just to just to mess with and see what happens. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, this is gonna be funny. All right. Yes. There we go. Turn into zombies, my little friends. <laughs> Oh man, this is too funny. Let's see how far across this this base they're gonna make it. Wow, this is unbelievable. Well, there you go, guys. My my theory was right. I really don't think I would have three-starred this base this quickly using all assaults. Um, again, the the stats on these zombies haven't been included in, in the game yet. Uh, once I get these guys leveled up, if if I get level two, or, I mean, right now it's just level one zombies. If you can get level two or level three zombies using this strategy, I mean. I, I don't even know what. <laughs> I, I almost wonder if you could take out an entire CC11 base um, using assaults and two zombie pods. Or hell, I mean, you could even do it with one zombie pod and 195 assaults uh, and just let them all infect each other as it goes. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this becomes a trend, remember you saw it first here on my channel. Uh, again, my alliance is AW Kings. We're still looking for a couple of good players, so if you're interested, hit me up on mine or kick, uh, Forest Man. Um, also, obviously, I'm on the Facebook page. It might be easier right, right now to find me there, but AW Kings is our alliance. We have the star before and after our name. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next.